We got us a new box of bees. We're gonna put them in this hive. We're gonna see what happens. Hey everybody, this is Ron uh, and Penny. Say hey Penny. Hey Penny. All right, we got a uh, horizontal beehive, holds 31 frames. Uh, I just finished up the final touches on it uh, this morning and she's ready to go. I've done a video on this before, so I'll give you the breakdown and you can see how all this thing is made. Um, but we got us a new box of bees. We're gonna put them in this hive. We're gonna see what happens. This thing's supposed to be a whole lot easier to work with than uh, than your standard vertical. So uh, basically, if you come over here, I'm gonna remove these slats. Now we've got a. It holds a gallon and a half of sugar water. Um, it's a two-frame feeder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna we're gonna move, remove five of these five of these frames. because we're not going to do the shake method. We're just going to set the box in there, open it up and set it in there, let them come out and we'll come check it in a couple of days. Is it a couple of days? Mm-hmm. Yeah. A couple, two or three days. We'll hang the queen in here. So basically what we got now is we got, we got five frames, the feeder, and then, then this is a, a petition board it goes all the way to the bottom so the bees can't go any further into the uh, into this hive. Uh, if you look down here, uh, this is an oil pan. Uh, basically the hive beetles and everything fall down in, through this uh, one eighth screen into the oil and they suffocate. The bees will scare them down in there. Right, but anyway, all right, so here we go. All right. We're gonna spray them down with a little sugar water. Up there on the whatever I did with it. All right, there it is, a little sugar water. Right, I'm gonna give them a good dose of sugar water. See if I can do this better than I did last year. That's your queen. Yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta pop this loose too, don't we? Don't First. Fall. Okay. Stop. All right. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> uh oh, it fell down. Yeah, it's kind of. I kind of want to sink down in there. That's all right. We'll get it. This is probably the hardest part right here, getting this dang can out. Now, it's full of sugar water. It's got a lot of water in it. Get your queen. Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me spray them down a little bit more. They're going to come out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right. Come out here and see if I can help you. You ready? Mm-hmm. Uh, take them off there, clean out. There we go, that's good. All righty. Let's check her. Look in here. Look at, look at her, she's got she's a blue. blue. Got her a couple of helpers in there. Very good, moving around. Hey everybody, Ron here. I am so sorry, the wind is terrible out here today. So I've decided to do a voiceover on this so basically what we're doing is we're removing the cork um, on the queen cage and what's behind there is what's called bee candy and from what I've read uh, it's pretty much made out of uh, powdered sugar and corn syrup uh, and it's made to a doughy consistency that's soft enough that the bees can chew through it but not too soft that the heat would make it melt and get on the queen and as you can tell here i'm having a little bit of difficulty getting this uh this cork out of here so i just popped out my little pocket knife and uh and flipped it on out um so basically the reason why 
the queen is in a cage is the bees haven't accepted her yet and if she if you just released her straight into the hive uh, they would think she was a um, rogue bee trying to rob stuff from them and and they'll kill her so you put this in here she starts putting out her pheromones putting her scent out there um, it gets spread all through the hive and the bees accept her and at that time then what they'll do is they will chew through the candy to let her out so she can start you know roaming around in the uh, in the hive and start laying eggs and and uh, making baby bees uh, what I'm doing here basically when they ship these that yellow tab <clears throat> is configured in a way that it's got the candy down and I guess the reason they do that is so that if the candy was to start melting it wouldn't melt on the queen and kill her um, but we've been taught to flip that over so that the candy's up and the reason being is if the if the candy is down and one of the helper bees that's in there with her dies they could possibly clog up that hole and the queen couldn't get out so you flip it around I use a staple gun like I said and I staple it in place and then you put it between you know uh, your frames make sure there's once there's a screen on there you don't want to put that right up against the foundation you want to turn that sideways so that um, the queen can you know get air and all that stuff and then again we just use a staple gun to staple it in place and uh, and basically that's it I mean the queen is in place now so then we'll go to the box um, go ahead and uh, it's got a little top we leave that top on there so the bees stay in place and what we'll do is we'll place that um, in the uh, hive <clears throat> now, there's two ways of doing this one is the way we're doing it where you just put the whole box in the hive you remove five frames so you got space put the box in the hive uh, take the top off close everything up you come back in you know two or three days check to make sure all the bees are out of there uh, and see if they've accepted the queen yet um, or you can do the shaker method where you just open the top and you shake the bees down in there of course now bees are flying everywhere when you do that but like I said we choose to do it this way it's it's easier uh, it's actually a little bit quicker um, and then like I said after about three days you remove that box out put five frames back in there to fill your box back up and um, then you know wait a week go back and check and see if the queen is doing what she's supposed to be doing uh, and guys, that's pretty much it. It's a it's a pretty simple process. All right, we're gonna sign off for now. Bye, right, everybody. Happy beekeeping.